Welcome back. This is Steel Wine the Morning and we are on youth and career. Today we're talking about demystifying success. So what is, what is success and what uh, success isn't? And of course, we'll be talking about the seven P's of success as authored by our guest here, Jamlik Hogi. We'll be getting into the details of this. So welcome, Jamlik. Thank you. Uh, tell us uh, basically who you are because I know there's many titles that you hold. Thank you for having me, Stephanie. My name is Jamlik, a.k.a. Mm. MC Kogi. I am a corporate speaker, author, mm. and marketing consultant. All right. Yes. So uh, we want to talk about success, demystifying success. And we were talking with my colleague earlier on, and he was saying success is basically the little things that you do. And some people perceive that success is for the chosen few. Mm -hmm. So what is success really? Well, according to me, success is a journey. You never really reach there or arrive. And one mm -hmm. of my favorite quotes to do with success is success is about uh, making progress every hour, mm -hmm. every day, and every year. Okay. And I agree with your colleague who you are speaking with that it's about the small things, making the small strides towards the ultimate goal that you have in okay. life. So it's the small things, but you have an ultimate goal that you want to achieve in life. Sure. So success, is, it's not for certain people. When you're trying to say manga, well, more careful to say, yeah, you know, some people perceive uh, that they can't be successful in life. And uh, to them, success is only for when you're rich and you're maybe famous or you have, you have it all together. Well, we have uh, different destinies and paths. So success may mean different, to, uh, different things to different people. Mm. Like if you're a scholar, maybe you could look at the day you achieve your PhD, perhaps that is the highest you could go. Mm -hmm. That could be success to you. If you are um, an entrepreneur, um, mm -hmm. the day maybe you reach a turnover of, let's say, a million a month, maybe that could be success to you. Uh, uh, and so on and so forth. So it differs from one person to another, depending with the goals they have mm -hmm. in life. And how would you describe a successful career now that we are talking about career? Well. First, it will come with um, fulfillment. When you are growing up, you know, of course, when you are growing up, many mm -hmm. people used to say, uh, you know, the generic uh, aspirations, you want to become a doctor, you want to become a lawyer, you want to become an engineer, although that has changed with time. People are now more exposed. Mm -hmm. So a successful, to be successful in a career is really to achieve that you aspired uh, when you are young. And it has to be in line with your strengths. Mm -hmm. so according to me, uh, when you really go for it, and achieve it at the end of the day, mm. then you'll have uh, reached the ultimate of your career. The ultimate goal. Yes. All right. So let's go into the tools of success, or maybe we can call it the seven P's of success. Mm -hmm. Can we relate them to tools of success? So how do you like to describe it? Well, um, demystifying success, I simplified it into mm. a book. Okay. which is uh, the X matrix that highlights the seven P's of success. Mm -hmm. And uh, these seven P's include um, purpose. Mm -hmm. The second P is um, plan. The third P is pursue. The fourth P is persistence. Mm -hmm. uh, the fifth P is positive attitude. The sixth P is passion. And the seventh P is people. People. Yes. All right. And on the, you know, the first page, the cover, uh, you've said good intentions will be recognized, hard work will be praised, but only, uh, but only results will be rewarded. Expound on this. Well, uh, that is one of the P's actually, which should be pursue. Okay. Uh, in project management, we talk of JDI, just do it. So uh, we make, uh, like if I may put this in, into the context of business people where we mm. have an entrepreneur, somebody who wishes and keeps saying that one day I'll begin my venture, I'll begin my business. Mm -hmm. We move from that to become now an entrepreneur where now instead of talking one day, we now move to day one and start executing it. That's where now the quote was inspired where uh, that idea of aspiring uh, to like have a business, uh, good intentions, th those are good intentions, mm -hmm. they'll be recognized. Okay. Hard work, you know, uh, mm -mm. putting together strategies. Uh, hard work will be praised, but only results mm -hmm. will be rewarded. At the end of the day, 
uh, like you asked earlier, uh, what, how will you consider yourself successful in your career? It's when you actually reach there, so to speak. It's when you actually um, arrive there, so to speak, although you never entirely arrive there, mm -hmm. but making that progress and getting results. I may add this and talk of, um, mm. there's actually a difference between doing something and getting something done. Okay, tell us about that. A difference between doing something yes. and getting something done. Yes. Mm -hmm. For instance, we are getting something done, Stephanie, right here. We are empowering Kenyans in this conversation. They are, they, they are learning a thing or two. Mm -hmm. So doing something, you can be in a vehicle, let's say a matatu, uh, from uh, Karen maybe to, to town or in Anuba in that case because what were Karen. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, so, uh -huh. yes, and uh, you grab the paper of the driver and you are perusing it. You mm -hmm. are doing something. You are just perusing the paper. Mm -hmm. But someone else from Karen again to town is holding the paper in another Uber, but he's sort of just perusing the papers. They are reading the headline and noticing there is a new word and they learn about it, they go ahead, find the puzzle, they solve it. So they are getting something done. They are getting value instead of mm. just passing time. That's wow. It. That's the difference. So you get value out of everything you do. That's getting something done. Yes. Wow. Amazing. And getting results. And getting results. Yes. So that's basically, we can summarize, that's what success is when you get results. Correct. Out of your goals. So now, where does, uh, from all the P's, where does success begin? Which P do we start with? I I think we should be start from the first P, mm -hmm. which is purpose. Purpose. Yes. Basically, purpose is um, mm -hmm. from where I sit. Uh, it's the reason why you are born, the reason why uh, you exist. What do you aim to achieve in life? What are your goals? What are your aspirations? Mm -hmm. And for you to realize your purpose, you need to begin with uh, self-awareness, which is basically uh, seeing the ability to see yourself clearly. You know, mm -hmm. understanding who you are, how others view you, and how you interact with the world. Okay. And uh, briefly, I can mention some of the ways you can become self-aware mm -hmm. uh, so that you know what your purpose is. Yes, because, you know, many people struggle with knowing their purpose. Yes. And uh, it is said that once you know your purpose, life becomes easy because Correct. you're doing what you love and what you're called uh, in this world to do. So how do you become self-aware? Well, um, to become self-aware, the first thing is, um, and I've done this myself practically, mm -hmm. I call it trial and error. Mm -hmm. You basically try things out. Like uh, when I was at the University of Nairobi, I never knew that I could become a professional storyteller, but I saw a notice and decided, well, let me try this out. And uh, we competed with the 10 others, and I became the first one at uh, Lower Kabete campus. Mm. This was organized by Story Moja. Later on, I went to the quarterfinals. The year that followed, now I said, I'll not narrate somebody's story. I created my own story, mm -hmm. uh, which was about women empowerment, known as Kagendo, and went all the way and was among the, uh, the six finalists in the country. And uh, my stories were aired in uh, your sister brand, KBC. Uh -huh. So it was through trial and error. I never knew that I could become a storyteller. I mm -hmm. never knew I could become an MC. I never knew I could become an author. But so I tried things out, and it so worked. So it started by you trying Yes. Getting yourself out there. Yes. And you discovered you can tell stories and from that uh, the others came about. Yes. And there's something you said uh, somewhere that I read uh, that you need to know what the main, you need to have one main, main thing mm -hmm. and then the others like uh, take root from that. Yes. Expound on this. Well, if we may focus on um, one of the companies, uh, it's um, uh, MNC, Multinational Corporation, Coca-Cola. They have many brands. Talk of Fanta, talk of Crest, talk of Stony. But it is the Coke, the Coke brand that stands out. So it's important to find your Coke in life, your main thing. Mm -hmm. yes. All right. So thank you for that. Uh, you, uh, I can see here you've written, <clears throat> a grave has been singled out as the richest place on earth and this is this is in relation to purpose okay mm -hmm. well what about um, it? grief to be the richest place on on earth yes because many um of course um uh, like uh, i i may take this opportunity to to stand with the kenyans for what has just happened uh, mm -hmm. we, we lost our third president may mm -hmm. he rest in peace so many dreams have 
gone to waste, so to speak. Uh, many people have passed on without realizing their full potential, without pursuing their purpose, without being self-aware. Mm -hmm. So uh, I urge and charge everybody to really uh, do meditate, do the trial experiment I was talking about, get feedback from other people so that they can know who they are, what their strengths are, and they pursue them without apologies. So that when time comes and we have to go to the grave, then we go to the grave empty. empty. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, you put it. Okay, all right. So now people can help us identify our strengths. Of yes, yes. So if you don't know, you just put yourself up there and you get the little comments that people say, I think you're good at this, I think you're good at this, and then you become serious with it. Yes, because we could be biased. It's good to do self-evaluation. Mm -hmm. You take a piece of paper, you write your do's and don'ts, likes and dislikes. Mm -hmm. um, but unaweza jichocha so to speak eh mimi ni mzuri sana eh, najua hesabu sana lakini rafiki yako akwambie ah hapo kwa hesabu uh, i think uh, physics you do better at physics <laughs> not really mathematics uh -huh. so we reach out to those closest friends or family members mm -hmm. who will not um, uh, sugar coat but tell us the way you know it is what it is yes you know we had people in primary and they were being told you can sing you can but when you hear them you're like mm -mm, you could try something else so you get people that will lie to you but when you get your close people they will tell you the truth yes correct. <laughs> all right so part of it you've written self-analysis of our physics what as one of the way to find purpose mm -hmm. yeah it's basically like um, having uh, mm -hmm. the mirror test. Mm -hmm. When you look yourself at the mirror, you are a reflection of who you are. Mm -hmm. Like if I may give, uh, I'm not the best example, mm -hmm. but I am not very tall. You know, we say we are, we are just, we are not short, we are just down to earth. <laughs> <laughs> so uh -huh. careers that may, may require taller people, may require very huge people, then uh, you are truly and Sikogi may not fit there. <laughs> so the mirror test uh, is part of the self-analysis. Okay. Uh, that uh, you, you, you are able to, to know like, like what you are good at, what maybe you are not good at. Mm -hmm. um, this one I'm saying on a light note. Mm. Uh, again, you may look at yourself in the mirror and you find you have all the signs and symptoms of acting a horror movie. <laughs> <laughs> So uh -huh. you find maybe you could not fit uh, the becoming, main character. Yes, yeah. or becoming a, a model, you know, uh -huh. because maybe the looks are not there. So anal analyzing yourself with, uh, you know, self-analysis, that's what it's all about. Self-analysis is, yes. is important. And God's revelation is also there. Yeah, for God's re uh, revelation is, um, uh, we appreciate there is a um, superpower. We appreciate there is God. There are people who receive visions. Mm -hmm. They are guided on... Uh, which directions to take. So if you are a spiritual person, uh, I mean person out there, then uh, and you hear that still small voice uh, guiding you to pursue this particular direction, mm -hmm. please follow it. Follow that. Okay. Yes. So let's now move on to plan as the second P. Okay. What about plan? What do we need to do? Good. Uh, after knowing your purpose, now you move to, to planning. This is basically coming up with a blueprint, your intended course of action how we do now achieve your purpose and stephanie i always advocate mm -hmm. for people to really come up with plans in writing in writing yes mm -hmm. because it forms a point of reference so that um, you keep yourself accountable and also get an accountability partner like when i put down my plans i can mention to you stephanie this year i intend to launch my third book because if i don't mention to an accountability partner nani kose kutimiza hilo lengo langu then uh, nobody will be aware that i missed a certain uh, oh. goal mm -hmm. so it is important to you have plans and have them in writing and get an accountability partner who will keep you accountable so that's something like a vision board Yes, so you, correct. You have you have it written down, and uh, does it help you in? Does it help motivate you when you have a vision board? When you check one box, and you know you've done that, you've uh, able, you've been able to accomplish this one thing and that. So does it help uh, boost you know boost you as you uh, aim to get to your main goal? Definitely, because uh, when you have written like 
when people come up with their new year resolution mm -hmm. and then I, I would advise you break them into quarters that this quarter you you'd like to achieve one two three the mm -hmm. other quarter and so on and so forth so when you achieve you 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 keep on ticking you keep on checking and checking and uh, what you're not able to achieve like in quarter one you take it to quarter two but remember don't take everything to the next quarter <laughs> because that would be procrastination mm -hmm. and you'll not be productive so to speak mm -hmm. so yeah, plans in, in writing and when you achieve uh, however small a goal, then um, uh, you set now a bigger one because like the Maslow hierarchy of needs, when you achieve a need, it's no longer a motivator. Mm -hmm. You now go to the next go and to the higher next one. one. And so. why is it important or is it important to celebrate the small wins? Because if I've checked one goal and I move on to the other one very quick before uh, celebrating this small one, will it... Uh, numb me from you know the excitement that comes with winning you know checking the boxes so is it important to celebrate the small wins i i agree with that it's important to to celebrate any achievement however small mm -hmm. uh, give yourself a pat in the back you know mm -hmm. um celebrate in your own way if you take uh, uh, if you drink like me, by the way, Stephanie, I'm sorry to say this on TV, I'm a heavy drinker because I drink eight glasses of water every day. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good one. <laughs> I was expecting you to mention some beer. Yes. Okay. <laughs> so whichever way you, you, you find joy and fulfillment, if it's uh, having a dance, if it's throwing a, a good party, please do to celebrate each milestone, just like the way students do have graduation. Mm -hmm. Even in your own way, in uh, if it's business, you have exceeded like targets. Treat your staff. Okay. Celebrate that small Celebrate goal. the small wins. Yes. Okay, let's move on to the next one. What's the other P, the third one? Well, now after you've purpose and planning, now uh, you have no uh, other uh, way to waste time, but now to just execute. And this is now pursue. Pursue. Yes, mm -hmm. you hit the ground running. In project management, as I mentioned, we talk of JDI, just mm -hmm. do it. Because uh, in business, uh, we talk of a entrepreneur. One day, I want to begin my business. But now you move from that to day one and mm -hmm. start uh, uh, that business you have been talking about, pursuing it. That mm -hmm. is uh, the third P, getting the things done now. Getting things done. Yes. So how do... How do you avoid procrastination? Because you might have that plan, everything in set. You have uh, this one I want to achieve by this date, but now we have a problem with procrastination and a lot of people have that. So how do you break from pro procrastination? I would go with uh, being uh, self-disciplined mm -hmm. and having self-drive, kujituma, you know? Uh, because... Um, in this life is you you and i know that we mm -hmm. we have our aspirations we have our destiny but it will be incumbent upon each and every individual to take it upon themselves to really begin their journey of trans uh, transformation mm -hmm. it is getting up every day despite the discouragements we had yesterday mm -hmm. that yesterday did not work out uh we still keep waking up we still dress up and rise to the occasion mm -hmm. so it has to come from within in fact i uh, i stopped uh, calling myself as a motivational speaker mm -hmm. people i'm a transformation speaker transformation speaker people should really uh, motivate themselves okay. they should not wait for an external party to come and motivate them especially with the current times where things are a bit hard yes. and you know someone might uh, not have a job but you know it's hard to wake up but you still wake up somewhere i had someone say you need to wake up you need to dress up and just be there if you're being there and look for something to do instead of just sitting there or just having your dull clothes it's important to to just show up for the day sure right yes okay and here you've said that worry and fear may uh, try to stop you when you are when you do a reality checks and it dawns on you that you may not have the right tools and resources for the tasks ahead. Mm -hmm. So speak to us about, about fear and uh, imposter syndrome too. Fear is really one of the deterrent, uh, one of the things that stops people from realizing their goals and achieving what uh, they aspire. There's, there's, um, <coughs> 
there is a fear of the unknown. And uh, my encouragement would be to look at fear as uh, instead of um, for, uh, forget everything and mm. run, you look at fear as face everything and rise. Face everything and rise. Yes. Okay. So you have to face your fears. Uh, uh, like uh, one of the challenges of uh, people face when beginning a business is how to raise capital. But you have to overcome that fear by, by you know, uh, finding ways on how to raise that capital. Maybe friend raising, reaching out to friends, uh, whether it's asking for donations. Yeah, so you have to face that fear head on, overcome it, because your success lies on the other side of fear. That is on the other side of fear. Yes. So let's take a short break and we'll come back and uh, you'll tell us about the imposter, imposter syndrome because some people really are gifted, but they're really afraid to step out there and do something great. So let's take a short break and we'll be right back. The hashtag to use is why in the morning at Y254 channel at Stephanie Ayeta or at Ram Agogo. Why 254?